Hello, traders. Well, we saw a, a real improvement in market sentiment last week with um, some big moves up in risk, uh, risk assets such as equities, uh, crypto, etc. Now, this is basically on the back of um, traders pairing back on, on their bets, I guess, on the hawkishness or, or the uh, aggressiveness of the Fed tightening cycle. Um, do have a very busy calendar this week ahead, though. So this should see if this um, newfound optimism continues or where it was a dead cat bounce and, and we see the risk off come back into the market now. Um, first up, we've got the RBA tomorrow. The AUD, Aussie dollar, US dollar has really been testing that 70 cent level, which is a, a real big psychological level. Um, been rejected a few times, but the Aussie dollar has been a, a top performer in the G10 currencies. Um, RBA tomorrow expected 50 basis point hike. The futures market's pricing in about 41 at the moment, I think. So pretty much a done deal as far as, um, as, far as bond traders think. But not being 100% priced in, should see a little bit of, a, of movement in the Aussie dollar tomorrow afternoon. Probably a little spike up if they do 50. A um, bit of volatility as the algos try to read the statement and then more volatility as the humans read the statement. So whether that move will be sustained really is going to depend on, on the statement that comes out with that decision. Um, sticking with the central bank theme, Bank of England on Thursday now. Almost 100% priced in a 50 basis point with them. I think the Bank of England, um, along with the Europeans, know that their, their window's rapidly closing for rate hikes with the uh, economic conditions deteriorating. So um, almost certainty they'll do 50 tomorrow. How it'll affect the pound really will depend on the forecast that comes out with, with the decision. Um, after that, we've got uh, some big US data. I mean, during the week, we've got a lot of US data. Now we've got um, some... ISM manufacturing and service PMIs, uh, and, and the big guy on Friday, which is non-farm. Um, now, these are all going to take on extra importance after the Fed in their July meeting said um, any future rate hikes or tightening is going to be data dependent. They've not given any indication of what's coming up. So every news release out of the US is, is, going, to be, is going to cause some volatility as the market reprices that uh, Fed rate hike cycle. Um, and good news is bad news. You might have heard that uh, being bandied about. Now, that will more than likely be the case for risk equity, uh, risk assets such as equities, cryptos. Bad news will mean the Fed's less likely to be aggressive and you'll see those risk assets uh, rally. Um, not good news for the US dollar, though. Bad news is going to be bad news for the, the US dollar. So, um, yeah, buckle up. It's going to be a good week and uh, trade safely. And thanks for watching.